Mr. O'Day, you're the CEO of Gilead. Um, is it true that Gilead made three billion in profits from the sales of Truvada in 2018? Uh, three billion in revenue. Oh, yes, in revenue. Thank you. And very quickly, uh, the current list price is two thousand dollars a month in the United States. Correct. The current list price is one thousand seven hundred and eighty in the United okay. States. And, and just to correct, the three billion was a global figure. Okay. Uh, for I see. Uh, for Truvada uh, for Prep and So Spiritism. it so the list price is almost two thousand dollars in the United States. Why is it eight dollars in Australia? Uh, Truvada still has patent protection in the United States, and in the rest of the world it is generic. I can't comment on the price in Australia of the generic medicines, uh, but it is generically available in other parts of the world and will be generically available uh, in the United States as of September in 2020 based upon Gilead. Uh, agreeing to, uh, to support Thank generic you. entries uh, one year so early. So I think it's important that we notice here that we the public, we the people, developed this drug, we paid for this drug, we led and developed all of the grounding patents to create PrEP, and then that patent has been privatized, despite the fact that the patent is owned by the public. We refuse to enforce it. There's no reason this should be $2,000 a month. People are dying because of it, and, and there's no enforceable reason for it. We own the intellectual, the core intellectual property for it, and as a result, uh, people's, people are are dying for no reason, for no reason. This is Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez speaking to Daniel Day, the CEO of Gilead Sciences. Gilead is the country's leading manufacturer of HIV drugs, including PrEP, which is the leading drug to prevent HIV infection. But the drug was discovered in Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Labs in Atlanta, and then proved by San Francisco AIDS researcher Robert Grant, who used $50 million in federal grants to prove the treatment worked. And nearly all of it was funded by U.S. taxpayers. But Gilead claims that the government's patents are invalid, and so because our government isn't willing to aggressively enforce its patent, this drug company is raking in $3 billion in sales of the drug, the vast majority of which comes from the United States, given their monopoly on the drug here. It costs between $1,600 and $2,000 per month, despite the fact that it costs a fraction of that to produce, and that, like AOC said, the same treatment in other countries costs only a few dollars. And you would think that this would be a nonpartisan issue. You would think that both parties would support not only giving Americans affordable access to drugs, but especially doing so when American taxpayers were the ones who funded their development. But of course, that's not the case. During the same hearing, Republican Jim Jordan of Ohio accused Democrats of demonizing Gilead and instead applauded the company. And to be fair, that's not to say that drug companies that develop life-saving drugs aren't to be applauded. And Gilead did distribute enough free pills to treat 200,000 people a year per their agreement with the Department of Health and Human Services. But when they're profiting to the tune of billions of dollars by charging exorbitant amounts of money to people who have no choice but to pay, that's not noble, it's extortion. And lawmakers like Jim Jordan should think about who he's there to represent. The people of this country or drug companies raking in record profits over those same people. But don't expect anything to change. The House is set to vote on three drug pricing bills that would restrict anti-competitive behavior by drug companies, but because they're combined with proposals to protect Obamacare, Republicans are expected to kill the bills. In other words, Republicans are only willing to protect Americans' health care so long as the legislation wasn't enacted by any Democrats. But besides actually being able to put partisanship aside, there's the other solution that the entire world seems to have already figured out, and that's implementing universal health care. And opponents to universal health care on the right are ensuring that drug companies can continue to reap profits in the billions solely off of Americans, while the rest of the world has access to affordable health care. They would rather fearmonger and cry out about socialism instead of making sure that people, you know, survive. The fact is, though, that Gilead is overcharging for a drug that is proven to be able to stop an epidemic. That is a perversion of capitalism and should be considered a human rights violation. We honestly need more people like AOC who are willing to call them out, rather than kowtow to billionaires who are holding people's lives hostage to make a buck.